There's something called coronary calcium screening. And what is that? You don't give any contrast, okay? So we don't put the IV in and inject contrast to your veins. So we're not looking at the inside of vessels, okay? What it does is it just looks exactly what the name suggests. It just looks at calcium. And we'll talk about why that is important in a second, but it doesn't look for the actual blockage in your blood vessels. So you can't say, okay, here's an area of calcium, the blood vessels narrowed 75%. We suspect we were worried that that could cause a heart attack, okay? That's not what we're doing here. What it is for is to say, okay, the calcium, the more calcium you have, the more likely you have a lot of atherosclerosis in your coronary arteries. We don't know exactly where that atherosclerosis is going to cause problems, but we know you have a lot of calcium and probably have a lot of atherosclerosis. So it's similar to saying you have diabetes, you have hypertension, you have high, high, uh, you know, hyperlipidemia, you have a family history, right? These are all risk factors. So this enables you to have another risk factor for developing a, a heart attack in the next 10 years or so, okay? It's a very pretty low radiation dose probably a millisievert or two. So actually it's pretty low. It's, you know, it's like a third of your radiation you get for a year long period. Now the coronary CT angiography, you inject contrast. So now we're looking at the internal lumen of the vessel. And what it does, this is the one that looks for blockages. Okay, because we can see exactly where things are narrowed because there's contrast actually inside of the vessel. So we'll see where there's narrowing. This is only used in people with symptoms. I'll show you a couple images at the very end. It's one of, this, the, one of the most exciting sort of new technologies in, uh, in chest imaging that we ha are using with much greater frequency in people who have chest pain in particular. If you have a normal coronary CT angiography where we inject the contrast, the chances of your symptoms being caused by coronary artery disease are extremely low, close to zero, all right? So we can effectively exclude coronary artery disease as a cause for chest pain and other symptoms in, in you. When you have a positive test, it's not quite as good because there are some artifacts which can lead to something. Say you don't have, usually the number we use is a 50% blockage is significant. So say we say, and this per, you know, say I'm myself, I have a coronary CT angiography and I see a 75% blockage. Well, occasionally that won't be real when you do the, the definitive test. But that being said, most of these patients if we have a positive CT, they need some sort of treatment if it's a real lesion. So they all should get some sort of so the cardiac catheterization, which is really the gold standard. Okay, and this, by the way, this one, this coronary CT angiography, is radiation is significantly higher. It's actually quite high. It's in the range of 10, 10 to 20 millisieverts, which is a, a relatively high radiation. 